Okay, uh, what I want to do is I want to show you a really cool tool called Microsoft Web Matrix. And this is really good if you want to start doing um, web development on a Windows computer. Uh, before I used to use a program called Zamp. It was a great program, but this really does a lot of work for you. One of the things you can do is you can click on a site. You can open a site. You can choose folder as a site. You can navigate to a folder and it will treat it like this is a web server hosted online. Now, I've created a path to one of my student folders, and I'm going to create a folder for a project here, and we're going to use it. But what we're going to do is uh, we're going to use, we're going to install WordPress right to this folder, and then we'll select the folder from here. Now, if you are, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this for a moment. If you download this on your home computer, you probably will have no issues just downloading it, clicking App Gallery. And from there, you can choose under all, you can choose WordPress, you can do this for .NET Nuke development, Joomla, just all kinds of things that I'll let you explore. Um, we're going to do WordPress, but we're not going to use this install because I have trouble on our network. And it could be a firewall permission or something. I'm not quite sure what's going on. But what we're going to do is go to WordPress and get the installation right there. So WordPress.org is the website. And um, once you're in here, you want to download WordPress 3.5.1. And uh, actually, I've already downloaded it. Um, and when you download, I'll show you. It's pretty cool. Hold on a second. Let me get that folder open. So here's my download folder. And there's the WordPress 3.5.1. Just get the newest version. And you're going to extract all. And where you extract this is going to be um, the folder where you want to do your work. So I'm going to extract it right to my student folder and I want to show those when I'm done. I'm going to click extract. It's going to take a little while so I'm going to pause the video while it's extracting. Okay, it has installed it. It showed me the folder and if I open up WordPress, this is what a WordPress site looks like on the server. And uh, one of the things is index.php is the main home page of your WordPress blog, but we're not ready to install it. So what we want to do is we want to look at the readme file and it's going to talk about what's called the five minute install. Now we're two and a half minutes into this video here. Um, so this is the link to it if you want to know how to do it, but I will guide you through it using the famous five minute install. See if we can do it in five minutes. I might have to pause from time to time. Um, but it shouldn't be too long. long. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the web uh, matrix program. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to click open site. I'm going to click folder as a site. So what we want to do is choose a folder, paste, and there's the WordPress folder. So I'm going to select that folder there and choose select folder. So now my folder as a site is the WordPress folder, so it's going to treat it like a website. And uh, so if I go to a browser in here and I'm running this as a server, I should be able to view the site itself. But we're not ready yet because it's not all installed. So what we want to do is we want to click on files down here. Um, so I'm going to click on files. And what we want to do is go to the what's called, oh, wait, before we do this, let me backtrack a little bit. We need a database first. So you got to set up your database. So I'm going to click on database. And what you need to do is just create a new MySQL database. And it's important to do a new one from scratch. And look at how easy this is. You just go to databases, new database, MySQL. Okay. And then we give a database name, WordPress test, or, or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Um, and then servers, local host, host, root is here. This password is one that I set up for students, but you can create your own password, I believe. Um, when you install, actually what's going to happen is when you install Web Matrix, it's going to ask you for a password. So whatever you use for that password, you want to use it here. It should be the correct one. So if everything's okay, I'm just going to click OK. And there it is, WordPress-test. So now I want to go to Files. And now I want to go to Config Sample. And I'm just going to double click it so I open it in here. And there it is. Now uh, you can zoom in. I'm holding down control and I'm doing my mouse wheel here. And what we need to do is define some terms here. So we need the name of our database. And that was the WordPress dash test that we have. DB user. That's the username created on the database. And it's going to be root. 
Um, now, I'm going to set the password here. I'm not going to reveal it just because it's one that I use in my classroom, and I'd rather not. Everything else should stay the same. You just leave it. When you're done changing the password text, you're going to change this name. You're going to save it as wp-config. You're going to get rid of the dash sample, but you're going to keep the PHP. And this is the configuration file. This is what tells WordPress uh, what database we're using, um, and we have our credentials so that we can do it. Um, what's the name of the host? And so it should be very straightforward on here. So I'm going to add the password and I'm going to save it as wp-config. And I'm going to pause it while I do. Okay, now I've saved the password in there. It's up. I've scrolled down a little bit. So you can see some of the other stuff that are on here. Uh, leave everything the same. However, one thing you can do is you can read all these comments that will tell you things about it. Um, and so I'm not too worried. You don't need to know anything else. So we're going to choose File Save As. And we're going to say this is just WP Config. And we're going to save our changes. Okay. Now what we need to do, and I'm going to go ahead and go to the README here. There we go. Um, that was the page I went at the beginning. What we need to do is we're going to need to go, we're going to need to run admin and admin install. So we're going to need to run that um, on the server. So I don't recall if we can do it from here. I'm just going to double click on install and now I'm going to launch it. So I'm going to click on run. See what my options are. So you choose what browser you're going to do. We'll do Chrome. And I'll wait. For, I'll pause it while it loads. Ha ha! So we just went to the install file. I told it to run. It loaded it up. And if you see WordPress here, this is good. You're almost there. Give a name for your WordPress site name. Um, so like if I'm, I'm working on Our Finest Hour, for example, and if I want to have a test of this particular project, we give it the name here. You can change this later. Username. Now, you can use admin um, because you are an administrator. I like to use dev as a developer because it sounds really cool. And then I'm going to put in my password. And hey, good, it likes it. And it's strong. And then email, so you're going to want to put your email in there. And then you're going to click install WordPress. Once again, I'm going to leave that out for this video because you will put your own email on here. But you do want to make sure what you put an email that you can get your information if you ever have to reset your password. One more thing before you do it, just uncheck the privacy thing. Don't allow search engines to index this site. Uh, well, we're one, we're on a local server, and we don't really want that accessible to the world. Uh, plus, I don't think search engines can get there. This is just for us to test on our page. Okay, guess what happened? It was successful. You can choose to save it or not, your choice. Uh, there's username, password. So if we want to log in now, we just click on login. And let's log in and make sure we got it working. And I think we did it in five minutes. Click login. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. All right, that's just to get started from here. You can work on it, and we'll talk about more things here. Uh, we're pretty close to a five-minute install, and that's with explanation. I could have done it a little bit faster.